Hi everyone, welcome to my craft room. Today I will be using pictures from this calendar that I found at the Dollar Tree. I was so excited to find it. So I'm going to make a little farmhouse scene. I'm going to use three of these house shaped plaques from the Dollar Tree and an assortment of pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I used a glue gun, Elmer's Bond Glue, Mod Podge, and some paint brushes. And by Waverly, I use the color white, sky, and maize. And I use the blue paint, acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. Even though I like the patterns on these little uh, houses, I sadly had to paint over it. <laughs> so I'm going to mask off the sides of these little plaques and I give them a couple coats of the white and I did paint the backs of them didn't need to in the end but needless to say here I am uh, giving them a coat of paint Now I'm going to cut out the pictures that I want and this one had the red truck on it and I just had to use it. I've been dying to use some, do something with the red truck and I found this calendar and I was just so happy. So here I am just getting ready to cut out my photo and originally I wanted to use uh, the word homegrown on top but I ended up not using that and you'll see that in the video so here and I'm using a couple other photos of barns and one of a silo and I already cut those out and I'm just you know I wanted to put a sky and some green uh, green on the bottom for the grass so I was just trying to measure where how far down to paint the blue and here I'm painting on the color sky. So I just, there you can see, I'm just measuring. So I just color the top blue, the bottom green, and made a little scene. I keep a photograph in which we want love caught in your eyes. Sunrise. I barely even knew who you were. What did you do? I didn't care. Cause you were perfect, I swear. But somebody told me that it's over. I know it's true. You made me happy for a while. I remember fleeting times when we slept on top of cars. Now I My original thought to use these little houses was to hinge them all together and Mod Podge a photo to where, you know, it would zigzag or, or you know, open. Anyway, it's in my brain and one of these da days down the road, I'll, I'll make one. <laughs> In which we want love caught in your eyes Waiting for the sunrise I barely even knew who you were Here I'm mixing some paints together That would be the color maize with the sky and the blue And it made this really pretty green uh, Paints are getting hard to come by in my town So I had to make do with what I had Mm -hmm. 
Then I just repeated the back side, the top blue, and the bottom green. I decided I wasn't going to use the homegrown word on the top and I wanted to completely cut out any white from the truck. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to glue all three boxes or plaques together. And at first I'm using the Elmer's Bond glue. It didn't work so well, so I did end up using the hot glue. I tried not to use the hot glue because sometimes it, it, it creates bulk and I didn't want that. I wanted, you know, the sides to sit flush together, but it worked okay in the end. I keep a photograph in which we want love caught in your eyes waiting for the sunrise I barely even knew who you were what did you do I didn't care cause you were perfect I swear but somebody told me that it's over I know it's true you made me happy for a while now I'm gonna mod podge all my little pictures inside and that what I'm doing here and then I'm going to mod podge the red truck on the back side and that part of the craft will be done. When I Mod Podge um, things, I use the pressure of my brush to get out any of the bubbles or wrinkles. I just make sure there's plenty of Mod Podge on my brush so it's nice and wet so it'll slide easily without tearing the paper or napkin underneath. Smiled at me back then. I 
Then I took those little pumpkins and I did end up using some of those pomegranates from the Dollar Tree as well. And I just arranged them looking all stacked up and like you would see at a farm and it was done. I think it came out so cute and my original idea didn't get used, but hey, maybe next time. <laughs> it's still in my brain. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and hit that bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I do upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.